set up powerful loading functionalities on Webflow CMS collection lists, such as load more, infinite scroll, pagination, and render all to display more than 100 CMS items. Go to finsuite.com slash attributes slash list load and follow our documentation. You can also find the link in the video description below. In this documentation, you can see a live example and get the clonable for this solution. Step one, copy the script. Add it to the head section of your page, done. If you need this solution on multiple pages, you can add it to the custom code in the project settings. Step two, choose the loading method you want. Let's start with load more. When you click on the button at the end of the list, it loads more items. Step three, add the required attributes. List. This is the list to which loading options will be added. Copy the attributes name FS list element. In this section, you can see the elements allowed in Webflow to receive this attribute. Select your CMS collection list in Webflow. Go to element settings, add custom attributes, paste the attributes name, Go back to the documentation. Copy the attributes value list. Paste the value. Next, mode. Load more. Specifies that you want to add the load more functionality to this list. Copy the attributes name FS list load. In this section, you can see where to add this attribute. With your CMS collection list still selected, add one more attribute. Paste the attributes name. Go back to the documentation. Copy the attributes value more. Paste the value. Step four, ensure that the native Webflow pagination is enabled. Still in your CMS collection list, go to settings and check the paginate items. You can define the items per page on this field. The number of items per page in the paginate items determines how many items will be loaded when the user clicks on the load more button. You will see that when you enable paginate items, a pagination element with a next button is added to the page. This next button is what will load more items. You can style this button however you want. Would you like to boost the loading speed? Select the pagination. Then click on show page count. This will make your items load faster the page count element can be visible or hidden on the page. Step five, publish your project. Now, when you click the load more button, it will load more content from your list. Easy as turning a page in a book. Feel free to explore more optional elements and settings to optimize your attributes solution. We will check some of them in a few. Now let's check render all. This mode is recommended when you want to load all items of your CMS collection list, surpassing the limitation of 100 items in Webflow. Step three, add the required attributes. List, copy the attributes name FS list element. Select your CMS collection list in Webflow. Go to element settings, add custom attributes. Paste the attributes name. Go back to the documentation. Copy the attributes value list. Paste the value. Next, mode render all. Specifies that you want to add the render all functionality to this list. Copy the attributes name FS list load. With your CMS collection list still selected, add one more attribute. Paste the attributes name. Go back to the documentation. Copy the attributes value all. Paste the value. Done. Step four, ensure that the native Webflow pagination is enabled. Still in your CMS collection list, go to settings and check the paginate items. Enabling the native paginate items in Webflow is a mandatory step as our solution uses pagination to identify additional items that need to be loaded. Remember to enable show page count to improve loading speed for the items. Select the pagination and click on Show Page Count. Step five, publish your project. Now you will see that we are loading more than 100 CMS items in Webflow. So easy, take that Webflow. We are not done yet. Now, infinite load. 
automatically load more content when reaching the end of the list. Step 3. Add the required attributes. List. Copy the attributes name FS List Element. Select your CMS Collection List in Webflow. Go to Element Settings. Add custom attributes. Paste the attributes name. Go back to the documentation. Copy the attributes value list. Paste the value. Next, mode. Infinite load. Specifies that you want to add the infinite load functionality to this list. Copy the attributes name FS list load. With your CMS collection list still selected, add one more attribute. Paste the attributes name. Go back to the documentation. Copy the attributes value infinite. Paste the value. Step four, ensure that the native Webflow pagination is enabled. Still in your CMS collection list, go to settings and check the paginate items. You can define the items per page on this field. The number of items per page in the paginate items determines how many items will be loaded when the user reaches the end of the list. Remember to enable show page count to improve loading speed for the items. Select the pagination and click on show page count. As a final step, go to the style panel and select display none to hide the pagination section. Step five, publish your project. In infinite mode, when users reach the end of the list, more content will be loaded. Nice, it's working. Now the last one, pagination. Display the content on the same page adding full pagination options to the list. Step three, add the required attributes. List, copy the attributes name FS list element. Select your CMS collection list in Webflow. Go to element settings, add custom attributes. Paste the attributes name. Go back to the documentation, copy the attributes value list. Paste the value. Next, mode. Pagination. Specifies that you want to add the pagination functionality to this list. Copy the attributes name FS List Load. With your CMS collection list still selected, add one more attribute. Paste the attributes name. Go back to the documentation. Copy the attributes value pagination. Paste the value. Done. Step four. Ensure that the native Webflow pagination is enabled. Still in your CMS collection list, go to settings and check the paginate items. You can define the items per page on this field. Our solutions uses the native pagination next button in Webflow. You can style the next and previous buttons as you like. To see the previous button, enter preview mode, click the next button, and then exit the preview mode. Now you can also style your previous button. Don't forget to enable show page count to improve loading speed for the items. Select the pagination and click on show page count. Publish your project. With pagination, users can navigate through the content using the next and previous buttons without changing the page. That's great. Now we can explore more optional elements and settings. Since we are pro users, we are going to do this very quickly. Items count shows the total number of items of the collection list. Select a text block, add attribute, FS list element, items count. Visible count shows the total number of items in the view. Only the items that are visible to the user. Select a text block, add attribute, FS list element, value visible count. Visible count from, the from value and the range of items that are visible. Select a text block, add attribute, FS list element, visible count from. Visible count to, the to value in the range of items that are visible. Select a text block, Add attribute, FS list element, visible count to. On this section, you will also find the page button. This element serves as the template for custom pagination page buttons. Copy the attributes name FS list element. In Webflow, add a text link 
and style the way you want. You're free to customize your layout by moving the page button between the next and previous buttons, for example. Go to Element Settings. Add custom attributes. Paste the attribute's name. Go back to the documentation. Copy the attribute's value page button. Paste the value. Let's publish the project again. Cool. Now you can see that we can navigate through the content with any of the displayed buttons. And here at the top, we can see the number of items in view, the range of visible items, and how many items are in the list. That's fucking sweet. Feel free to explore more optional elements and settings to optimize your attributes solution. Want to use more instances of list load on the same page? Add a div block wrapper. Add attribute name, FS list instance. Add attribute value, one. This identifier can be any number or name that you want. Move all elements related to this instance inside the wrapper. Add one more div block wrapper. Add attribute name. FS list instance. Add attribute value 2. Move all elements related to this instance inside the wrapper. Publish your project. Done. Now you have two different instances of list load working. FinSuite Attributes is a series of open source and free advanced features that anyone can add to their website without any coding knowledge. It includes full feature documentation, demos, and clonable projects to help users get successful in minutes. Go to finsuite.com attributes to explore more solutions.